welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, <clears throat> water, water, water. Weekend energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Water, water, water. All right, let's get your overall lesson. Love. I commit and practice seeing all good things. And love. Patience, freedom. Change. Holy shit. Okay. Only one flipped, okay? So something's going down. Freedom at the bottom of the deck too, right? <clears throat> Creating your own happiness. So it, it's kind of telling me too that there's a good chance there's a love dynamic and it's like either coming together or breaking apart. But to me, this is, are you, is there something toxic with freedom here? You know, because it's all about your own happiness and, and love is happy, right? So let's see what, let's see where that ends up taking you. Let's start with cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Maybe you need to be more loving. Cancer. <sighs> What's I going to say? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Cancer. <clears throat> Someone might be taking <clears throat> action. Someone needs to talk. Soulmate. So someone might come forward. So someone's inspiring you or vice versa. So this does have to do with love and, and happiness and who puts a smile on your face and yeah, see, but it's like you're not taking action or action's coming in and you're putting a halt to something. You're dealing with somebody who's got a lot of water in their chat. Yeah, see, someone's keeping it from you, not telling you how they feel. Or you think someone's being shady or someone's lying to another feminine about another feminine. So to me, it's, it's like, where does your happiness lie? See, it's like seeing the signs. So I don't know if you're lying to somebody about how you feel. See, like this is contradicting yourself. I don't like you. It's like you're contradicting yourself. I'm gonna go after it. No, I'm not. I'm gonna tell somebody how I feel. No, I'm not. Love this person. They inspire the shit out of me. I'm seeing the signs, but yet, blah. Holy shit! Hello. There is an opportunity definitely coming. So why is deception sitting here? Tell me about this deception real quick. Because this is either you're not telling somebody how you feel or vice versa. Yeah, there could be somebody else here. But it's like you're not vibrating at the right level. Like, this is imagination, dreams, knowing things. Like, it is. It's like you're lying to your higher self. Tell me about action, Cancer. What is this action? So, somebody might come at you. Damn. You got mutual love for somebody. Will you find that freedom? I hope so. Tell me about soulmate. See, but it's like you're not even communicating. Somebody might want to come back at you. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, maybe you think there's something tricky going on, or there is. But see, you do have the Emperor reversed. So there is something shady going, going on. To me, you know, it's like you kind of know. Someone really misses you and, and feels bad and definitely wants to start a new cycle. Someone's not telling you how they feel. And then you got Muse. Yeah, somebody, you know, um, Princess of Pen, somebody who's like grounded, has maybe healing energy, going in new directions, or you're watching them at work with the Princess of Pentacles. It's a work card. Maybe they're starting a new job or it's, you're watching them at work. It could have been somebody you met at work. Yeah, you definitely want a second chance with this energy. Tell me about the signs. It just doesn't look like... Damn. See, it just doesn't look like you're communicating, though. It's like someone's still focused on the past or is lying to their past about you with deception being there, you know? It is, it's crazy. This is a very bittersweet reading because you know somebody's you're happy and there's mutual love, but there's, there's something tricky still going on in the dynamics. It still lies. Like, I want to say trust your gut here. Yeah, see, with the full reverse, it's, it's like someone's, you know, buying time, putting you on hold, saying they want more and they don't. Yeah, see, but somebody doesn't want to accept that something's over either. It's like they don't want to change. They don't want to transform. But they want to, They want another chance with you. They want to offer you something. Maybe you're not communicating. Or they're not communicating. They're not telling you how they feel. So it's a very contradicting energy. Back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. Um, I'm going to... I haven't used these. I'm going to pull your best advice. Well, you know what? I'm just, what's happening over the weekend? And, and take it or leave it, you know? Cancer over the weekend. Because it's almost like, I don't know if you can trust it or not. Yeah, see? Like, maybe someone's not feeling enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, jealousy, runner, codependent issues, fear of intimacy, listening to their ego. So someone's not ready. And this is also somebody saying like, oh, maybe I'm not enough or they don't feel good enough. Well, you're not in charge of somebody else's confidence, right? So right now, this weekend, it just feels like it's, it's not enough, you know? But it's a tough scenario because you got union, wedding, married, everlasting promise, eternal love. You guys have a beautiful soulmate connection, okay? So... But then you have many options, decision, unconventional, stringing along, one night stand. So, I don't know. Again, it's 50 50. Listen to your gut. Something tells me something's not right. This energy is not telling you how they feel, what they see. They're lying to you. They're still holding on to the past. They don't want to accept something's over. They don't want to vibe in a new level. There's something sneaky going on. Someone's not telling somebody about something. They want to start with you. They want a fresh slate. They want to ground something. They see it. This is somebody who sees something clear as day but is not communicating. Okay? So... For those who are in that situation, there's mutual love. I'm sorry that you're dealing with a situation like this. It sucks. It sucks. But there's, it's like there's a need for a pause. Like something's still not, there's still something tricky. There's still lies. Someone's not ready to open up. Oh, Mingy, my chest is hurting again. That happened in the fire signs. Okay, so 
there's still something going on that is does not feel right. And this energy this weekend is about love, feeling free, going after what you want. But it's it's very contradicting energy. Someone's just not ready, back and forth, back and forth. They know what they want and they just won't go after it. I just want to clarify this deception. Oh, I did. What was it? Fifth 5D? Yeah, someone's not in tune with their higher self. Yeah, see, there still needs to be barriers put up. There's still a blockage guys. I'm sorry to deliver that news to you. All right, moving on. Pisces. Pisces. <clears throat> Someone's, it's just someone was still blocking love. Someone still wants to feel trapped. I don't, you know, sorry you guys got that message, but again, it's weekend energy. Pisces. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Abandoned. Feeling lonely. Left out of a situation. To me, it's like you should be spending time, and that's reversed, taking care of yourself. But to me, you're dwelling. I just saw shadow work. Yeah, see, this is like spending time to yourself. So I don't, maybe you should abandon everything. Yeah, see, no, this is like an uproar. Jesus. Like, you need to calm your brain here. And it, clearly it's up to you. So you can go in a good direction this weekend or a not so good direction this weekend. Go off to love or, or you know, don't go off to love and feel trapped. Or go off to love and feel free. So, again, it's, it's like 50-50. I, I just said that with cancer. Mind over matter. Right? The Empress wanted to pop out. So, somebody needs to spend more time on their own figuring out what they want where their happiness lies again feeling lonely it's the same thing like something's over but it's it's supposed to be so this is all about you so let's go to destruction i don't know what the uproar is here is i feel like this is somebody using mental manipulation emotional manipulation yeah, see, like, it's like, but not doing anything. Like, it's like an uproar, but you're not doing anything. You can't just let a shit show like that happen and not do nothing. I mean, in a way you can, but you should be doing that. I just don't think you are. Tell me about solitude. Yeah, see, there's... There's no balance, like something didn't go in your direction or somebody else's, like, karm it's the karmic wheel. Not wanting to let go. It's like you're not taking action when you need to move forward. See what I'm saying? Having the strength to move forward. Someone could be really missing a feminine energy or this is the feminine in this. But see, I, I think somebody's missing the feminine energy, to be quite honest with you, because the Queen of Cups wears a heart on her sleeve. And you could be in a situation where you feel abandoned and lonely, but I don't, I don't really feel it like that because you know you should move forward and you're not. It's like you're, you're trying to stay in a situation that's clearly no good because here's the tower. And it's not a good tower. It's like you're kind of meant to be in this energy regarding something, a masculine or a feminine. Because the way you're giving your time to is no good. So now the universe is interfering, right? Where you're giving your time to is no good. It's, it's time to move forward. So you got... Uh, it's almost like a feminine energy that needs to move forward here. And I don't know if you... Tell me about this Queen of Cups because I feel like 
somebody that possibly wants to win. I almost feel like, um, yeah, see, it's karmic. There's no balance. Like, I almost feel like um, emotional manipulation or something. I can't see it, but I can feel it. It's karma. It's coming in this weekend. What you need to do is spend time on your own. Have patience. Go within. What do you really want? Where do you want to invest your time? Because you can stay in a situation that's no longer working for you, where you feel sad and you feel trapped. Because it's your lesson. Some of you is definitely self-love. And stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop feeling trapped. There's a very unbalanced major arcana, minor arcana. Karmic scenario that you're fighting. You wanted to win in a situation. You wanted someone to give you more time. It's like you got to sit back. And ask yourself, why are you investing in a situation that is not working for you? This is an this is this is an energy of of feeling trapped. Because you got you got freedom as, you know, love and freedom. So if you're not feeling that freedom, you're feeling trapped. You're trying to put time and energy into a situation that's no good. And definitely looks karmic and. It's a shit show and you're doing nothing about it when you should be moving forward. You're trying to invest in something that is not even good for your own mind, body, and soul. Maybe it'd be good if you take a little vacation, a little getaway, weekend getaway, or go to the ocean. Yeah, see, there's lies, deceptions. To me, you're trying to figure out, see, you want the past, you want the past back. There's something, it's like, lying to yourself or to somebody else about what you want because there's too many people in the picture. You know? Um, the universe is going to come in and have you realize something because you're putting your time and effort into a situation because you don't want to feel lonely. You don't want to be on your own. You don't want the a family dynamic or a house, apartment, something with you know, your foundation to crumble and it's out of your hands. Okay, so if that is your story, choose self-love, choose freedom, try to look at something differently. It's almost like they gave you the free will and you you didn't take it. You, you're trying to manipulate a situation. That's probably where I felt it. Oh yeah, because there was a seven of swords, right? Emotional manipulation, energy manipulation. Again, guys, it's only weekend energy, okay? Let me just check this message. I love when my daughter says that. Oh, rats. Scorpio. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Scorpio. Weekend energy. Soulmate. Offer. Cancer have that same energy. Dark Knight of the Soul. This is better than shadow work. This is knowing what you want, but not wanting to face it. And I'm, I can, I'm almost positive Cancer had that same message. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer. 
somebody that's in the just the water element this weekend. So someone feels bad about the way something is going down. Maybe you left somebody in the cold. Oh, I will tell you. Nope. Yep, Leo. Go watch Leo. This was the same situation in a way. Somebody trying to block somebody else because they knew there was an offer coming in and their lesson was grief. And then I just kind of saw the same scenario in Pisces. So I don't know if they have a Pisces moon because it's all about feelings and emotions. Someone might have a Pisces moon here. And this is somebody else having to go after love and feeling free because this is a, an unstoppable connection. So you literally have Leo in this read, Pisces... can't tell if Aries was here. And there was just something scurrying in the leaves out there and I picked up on it. So I don't know if someone's like going to panic. Because this soulmate situation is a, a beautiful situation. Someone's trying to stop this offer. Yeah, see, it could be an Aries. They're not doing anything. Well, that's a husband. And that Queen of Cups is what just came in Pisces, being over-emotional, not wanting to be left out of a situation, you know. Um, so it's like somebody's not doing something. And I want to say in the Aries or Leo read, it was the same thing. Like somebody wasn't, it was like a family dynamic not going after something because of somebody else. The High Priestess not following their intuition or this is... Something needs to be revealed, and then here comes communication. So you might hear from somebody this weekend. Tell me about the high priestess, because normally upright, it's you know it's destiny following your gut, inner knowing, and when it's reversed, it's like not there. Okay, so yeah, no, this is this is something being revealed, and then somebody's gonna end up probably in this energy. Somebody's gonna bring an offer somewhere else. I don't know how this is going to go down this weekend, though. Maybe this needs to clear up first before this energy can flip. That would make a lot of sense for something to be wrapped up first. Secrets being revealed. And then you got the grief, somebody not wanting to face something. Yeah, see, again, eight of wands, like not communicating, not talking about it. Again, contradicting energy. 50-50. Someone's all over the fucking map. I feel like Dora the Explorer. Here's a challenge for you. Yeah, getting out of your feelings. Turning around and realizing there's something else. So you have an emperor energy that's still dwelling on the past. But really wants to be with someone they know they should be with. And, and reveal secrets and go in a new direction. But is not saying anything you or them yeah see now you got a feminine which was the same energy it's, it's an emotional weekend for a feminine it just needs to be because somebody needs to release something and go in a new direction okay so there is going to be a feminine this weekend that is going to be pretty upset about something and I, I, I strongly feel this illegal energy Yeah, see, truth's being revealed, lies. This is, well, I no, this is lies. It's not even really truth being revealed, right? Somebody in their emotions, not going after what they want. Someone doesn't want to abandon somebody and, or own the truth. Not This is not owning the truth, not happening yet. It's tough. But this is like something being exposed. So it could be lies being exposed, which leaves somebody in their feelings and out in the cold. Yeah, see, because there's still an offer going in a different direction over here, but someone's still trying to strategize and figure out how to do it. Well, you know what? I just got anxiety. If you're watching and this is your scenario, tell the fucking truth. That's the answer. Tell the truth. Tell me about recognition. 
the Ten of Pentacles was just there. It's almost like not wanting to recognize something because, I don't know if you're blocking your money. <clears throat> yeah, see, it's like not moving forward yet. You, again, there could be a Leo in the situation, but it's like you're not learning your lesson. It's just the harsh reality. Someone's not learning their lesson yet. Yeah, see, wanting to be free but can't feel free yet because they're letting other energies restrict them. Or you are. Okay? So, you want to feel free and happy and in love? Go after it. Clearly, this that's not what's happening. Maybe for some of you. Maybe. Maybe. But right now, it's like someone's not communicating how they truly feel. They'd rather sit in pain and anguish. And there's so many people getting hurt here. There's definitely an offer going towards somebody else. And it could be this weekend or it's right around the corner. Yeah, see, someone's being guided. So and it's the bottom of the deck. So if you ask me, it's, it's right around the corner. All right, y'all. I hope you have... A kick-ass weekend. See y'all soon.